Afghanistan has reached a provisional deal with the militant group Hezbi Islami, which could be a step towards ending a 15-year war with the Taliban. Under the draft document, the militants say they will end their fight with the government, respect the Afghan constitution and cease contacts with other militant groups. In return, its members will be granted amnesty and released from prison. Well, let's cross over to Kabul, where we can speak to Bilal Sarwari, who joins us live about this uh, peace deal. Bilal, what's the significance of the leader, Hezbi Islami, in, in, uh, today in Afghanistan? Well, he is one of the most elusive uh, insurgent leaders of current day in Afghanistan. He was the recipient of uh, millions of dollars from CIA in the 1980s uh, in the fight against the Russians. He was also someone who got Stinger missiles. He was someone who refused to meet with President Reagan when he visited the U.S. But in the last 15 years, uh, he has been uh, quite active fighting against the U.S. forces, although in the last five years or so, he doesn't have that military muscle that the Taliban and other groups have. So he's very much someone who is wanted by the Americans, uh, uh, who is uh, in the black list of the American government, designated as a, a global terrorist. You mentioned the blacklist there. Is he likely to be removed from the blacklist? And just give us a bit more detail on this deal. Well, uh, Mr. Hekmatyar is on that blacklist. Uh, he would like to be removed from that. He would like assurances that U.S. Special Forces uh, and other uh, international forces would not raid, arrest, or kill him in Afghanistan. You have to remember in 2013, his group was responsible for the death of at least six U.S. soldiers in a suicide attack. Uh, we understand that he will have to uh, confirm the deal, the final deal that is uh, on its way to Mr. Hekmatyar. Uh, interestingly, no one really knows where he is because he's been in hiding. It's believed he's in Pakistan. Other people will tell you he's in eastern Afghanistan hiding in the forests. And uh, part of the deal also says that the Afghan government will pay him at least four million U.S. dollars every year. That includes 15 houses, armored vehicles, uh, and bodyguards. Uh, so. Uh, we, we're still waiting to hear uh, more details, but the public reaction here in Kabul is very negative because Ms. Mr. Hekmatyar uh, played a big role in the civil war. He was the first prime minister who rocketed his own capital. Of course, he was not the only one who was involved in that civil war, but because he's been away, he's been in hiding, uh, people are still wondering what sort of Mr. Hekmatyar could they expect in 2016? What could he bring to the country? What is his vision? Because Afghanistan today is a totally changed country than uh, the country that Mr. Hekmatyar was involved with in the 1990s. Okay, Bilal Sarari in Kabul. Thank you.